Nissan is in the middle of major revamp of its lineup, ranging from long-needed updates to investing in entirely new powertrain technologies. Like most automakers, electrification is the name of the game with EVs, solid-state batteries, and now plug-in hybrids, PHEVs, all featuring prominently in the plans. But the company is also considering extended-range EVs, EREVs, for its bigger vehicles, a problem of mass and money traditionally. Larger vehicles carried larger profit margins as they could be sold for higher prices without incurring much additional cost to build. As the industry transitions to EVs though, automakers are finding out the opposite is true. Larger vehicles need larger, heavier batteries to achieve acceptable driving range, and batteries are still relatively expensive. Eating up much of the profit margin. Ford recently abandoned plans for a large three-row EV SUV for this exact reason, but the physics and economics apply to everyone. Until battery prices come down, the largest vehicles will the most difficult to convert to EVs. The compromise solution is the EREV, similar to a series hybrid. An EREV keeps its gasoline engine and pairs it with a battery larger than you'd find in a PHEV but smaller than would be needed in a pure EV. An estimated 20 to 30 kilowatt hours should do it. According to Chief Planning Officer Pons Pandakuthira, EV batteries range from 60 to 135 kilowatt hours or more. The gas engine, though, is completely disconnected from the wheels and instead acts only as a generator which allows it to run only at its most efficient RPM. BMW tried the idea a few years back with the i3 Rex, which used a tiny motorcycle engine as a generator. Now, Ram is getting to introduce as Ram Charger pickup with a 3.6-liter V6 engine acting as the generator, speaking at Nissan's recent Fast Forward event. Panda Kuthira said the company would consider this strategy for its larger vehicles as the company electrifies its lineup. With today's battery technology, he said EREV technology would work best in compact and midsize SUVs like the Rogue, Murano, and Pathfinder. As batteries get better, vehicles like the Armada will become feasibly EREVs and eventually, full EVs. He also noted EREVs work better than current EVs when it comes to hauling and towing as they allow significantly greater range and much faster refueling. PHEV comes first and in many forms Pandakuthira. Also reiterated the company's plan to expand into plug-in hybrids, PHEVs, in the next several years. First up is the Rogue PHEV, which will likely use the same parallel hybrid system as its platform mate, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV when it arrives next year. It'll be a bit of an orphan, though. As in 2026 Nissan will introduce its e-Power Series hybrid system already on sale in Japan and Europe. Series hybrids walk a fine line between being hybrids and EREVs, tending to treat the gasoline engine more as a generator and only connecting to the wheels physically when doing so is more efficient than just generating electricity. Most of the time, the wheels are driven by one or more electric motor. This is how direct competitor Honda's hybrid system works on the CRV, Accord, and Civic, though only the CRV can be plugged in. The idea was first pioneered by the Chevrolet Volt back in 2010, while the plug in e power system is already out in other parts of the world. It's more expensive than a parallel hybrid and isn't as efficient on the highway. A pair of issues Pandakuthira says the company has nearly resolved and which will be sorted by 2026. The goal will be 70 miles of all-electric driving range, more than enough for the average person's commute. Better lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries coming helping improve the performance. Range and manufacturing cost of Nissan's PHEVs. EREVs, and EVs are a pair of major battery innovations, starting with a next-generation lithium-ion battery chemistry. Arriving in 2026, 
Panda Kuthira said it offers 25% greater energy density than Nissan's current batteries, which allows greater range from the same size battery or allows the company to downsize the battery and reduce cost and weight without sacrificing range. The new chemistry also charges 25% faster than Nissan's current EVs, he said.